Hi, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about the new native mouse support on the iPad. Let's get started. So I posted a video about how to set up a mouse on the iPad before iPad OS 13.4. With the new update, the iPad now natively support mouse or trackpads. So that video is kind of irrelevant right now. But let's talk about some of the things you can do to enhance the new experience. First, the pairing process is now much easier. You just need to put your mouse into pairing mode, go to Bluetooth of your iPad settings, tap onto the name of your mouse, and that's it, you're good to go. The first place you want to check out is the trackpad and mouse section inside general. In here, you will be able to change the speed of your mouse pointer, change your scrolling direction, and assign secondary click to your right or left click, depends if you're right-handed or left-handed. That's basically the basic setup of using a mouse or trackpad on your iPad. Basically, basically, yes, that's right. If you want more advanced options, there's actually another place to look at. I don't know why they didn't put them at the same settings page. We'll have to go into settings, accessibility. You'll see an option called pointer control. And here you will be able to increase the contrast of the mouse to make it more visible, especially when it hovers on different items. You can also change the time limit on how long it takes the mouse to disappear after not using it for let's say two to 15 seconds. The color of the mouse pointer can also be changed here. You can change the pointer size. I personally changed it to a little bigger because unlike a traditional mouse pointer, it is just a little tiny circle that it's kind of hard to see and it blends into a lot of things. Then you have pointer animation. This option is new. By default, it is turned on so when you hover the mouse onto an item, let's say an app icon, it will just wrap around that item to tell you that you have selected it. Same thing with some of the options inside, let's say um, the settings app. Then the last option allows you to change the scrolling speed of your trackpad or your mouse scrolling wheel. Oh, there is a huge but subtle new feature of the native mouse support on the iPad. It now supports side-to-side -side scrolling if you have a mouse like my MX Master 2S with a side-scrolling wheel. You can use it now. That's amazing. It is a huge upgrade because now I can scroll left and right on the timeline when I'm editing videos. Okay, if you want even more advanced option for your mouse, not trackpad, just your mouse. For trackpad, you have the built-in multi-finger gestures already. You can go into accessibility, touch, assistive touch, devices, tap on the name of your mouse. Here you can assign shortcuts to your mouse buttons. If you want to know more about it, uh, check out my other video that I posted before. I have my right button set to home, one button set to spotlight search, one button set to lock screen, and one button set to notification center. This way, I can do everything just on my mouse. As I said in my last video, you can only have up to five customizable buttons on your mouse. So you don't have to go buy a mouse with like 15 buttons. I did that before. That's it. That's all the advanced settings of using a mouse on your iPad. I personally prefer a mouse instead of a trackpad because I can use my shortcuts on the mouse to do more stuff and to be more efficient. Feel free to share your shortcuts with us in the comment section below. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family to help this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.